with Pokemon Soul Silver. Uh, I'm super excited about getting into this game and just playing it for you guys on stream. I'm not clicked into the game window, so I can't do things because I'm just so damn good at the streaming thing. I'm so damn good. It's just honestly, I should just win streaming. I should just win streaming for just how good I am at setting things up and navigating windows. So no info needed. Uh, if you guys couldn't tell, I mean, you can see it in the in the layout right there. This is a randomizer nuzlocke challenge so for anybody who does not know what that means uh i know we don't have anybody in the lobby yet but you know we're just gonna we're just gonna go over it in case you watch the vod so a nuzlocke means you can only catch the first pokemon on every route if a pokemon faints it is just full gone no revives are allowed if it heals in the pokemon center you can't put it back on your team it's just full gone and a star how's it going i hope you're having a good night my dude we're just going over the nuzlocke rules in case people who come by don't know what they are uh it's completely randomized too so every pokemon in this game it will just be a surprise to me so even the starters i'm really excited to see what three we get because good lord you can get some really good ones and you get some really bad ones. The way I had it set up, uh, each one will be at least a three evolution starter. So it could literally be anything. It could it could be a Geo dude. It could be a Pidgey. Who the hell knows? Uh, won't be a legend, so that'll be fun. But that doesn't stop the fact that we can still run into legendaries in the wild. Which, who boy, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Because I think their catch rates are about the same. So if I have to waste an encounter throwing a bunch of fucking Pokeballs at a Mew just for it to run away, I'm going to probably cry. So we're going to go with the male Sprite. Because we are a male. We. I don't know why I said we. Me. Me are a male. And then we're just going to go ahead and select. Nope. There we go. I'm using a controller right now. So like it's... It's really weird, because I, I paired these controls literally right before I started, and I thought that, uh, I thought I did it in a way where I would remember what everything was, but I guess I didn't. I could honestly serve to switch up my select and my start, because this is going to be a thing. I'm just going to ongoing fuck up, I can tell. So our very own tale of grand adventure is about to unfold. Are you guys excited? Because I'm excited. I haven't played Soul Silver in so long, and I haven't done a Nuzlocke in a while. I had a uh, Platinum Nuzlocke on the channel early last year, but we didn't finish it. It wasn't doing super well, so we had to switch it for something else to play. So hi, Shadow. You're finally awake. Your friend Lyra was just here. She's playing hide-and-seek with her Meryl. Oh, I almost forgot. Our acquaintance Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is, right? It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out? Here, use this bag to carry your things. Excellent. This is your trainer card. Here you can save a record of your progress. There's These are also helpful. Options, yes, those are very helpful. We can make the text go faster. <laughs> Just trying to touch... Just try touching the buttons, and you'll know what to do in no time. Uh, what's my X? There we go. So what to say? I don't remember how I paired controls. I remember A. That's all I remember right now. I remember A and B because I'm using a PS4 controller, and I I'm used to X and O. I'm used to those. I'm not used to literally everything else. Let's go ahead. Saving a lot of data. Ugh, love to see it. I hope we see saving a lot of data in the remakes, too. Just to keep that feeling of, you know, what it was like to play that gen way back in the day. Oh, let's go. Alright. Oh, I wish I had my running shoes right now. The music in these games was so on point. I can't wait till we get the uh, 
Is this the game that gives you the GB sound so you can make everything like the original? Because I would love that so much. Oh, that's cool. Bye, Lyra. Oh, I'm so fucking ready for this. I'm so ready for this. Come on, give me something cool. Oh, we don't even care what you're saying, Elm. We really don't care. Just let me have that Pokemon, dude. Let me have my Pokemon. It's gonna follow me too. Whatever this random dude is, is gonna follow me. I'm so excited. Oh, bro. Just let me go. He's got an email. Hey, listen. I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg. Ooh, are my eggs randomized too? I don't remember. Uh, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? Absolutely. Choose. You can choose one of the Pokemon over there. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Alright, what do we got? So we got... Wait, did it not randomize? Uh, it didn't randomize. Hang on. Let me see if we loaded the wrong ROM. We might have loaded the wrong ROM. Ooh, what did I just do to my windows? Let's see. So we're going to go ahead real fast and going to close the game. And we're gonna open up our player again. I might have ported in the ROM correctly. So let's do open ROM. Go to our desktop. I mean, in theory, it should just be this guy right here. So let's see. I'm gonna double check and make sure. I've got a speed up button for this too, so that way things can go just the slightest bit faster. Because I remember doing all the settings correctly. Maybe it's saved in a different spot. Yeah, no, it's still like this. Let me see. We're gonna open up our randomizer here make sure we get this the way it's supposed to be so it's over here oh there we go so we're gonna open rom there we go let me starters random in-game trades randomize the given pokemon we'll leave move sets alone we're gonna randomize trainers rivals will keep the same starter throughout the game no early wonder guard absolutely wild pokemon random catch them all mode and then everything else should be fine oh no game breaking moves i almost didn't turn that on So we're going to save this as real randomized stuff. We're going to save this to the desktop. It's saving right now. Uh, yeah, let's make a log file to save. There we go. So it looks like 
it randomized for realsies this time. But that does mean we're going to have to reload and do a little bit of what we just did over again. So let's... Ooh, did it open both? I have two windows. Wow, that's crazy. That's really crazy. There we go. So let's see. We're gonna go quick mode through this because we just did this. So let's make sure we get this part correct. Nope, still fucking up the buttons. I'm so good at this, guys. There we go. So let's get back to the professor. Things should be random this time. I damn near did this real time. And I got all of the confirmations that would make me believe that it is randomized. Although, there's also the chance that it doesn't show up as random until you pick the Pokemon, too. It's been a really long time since I've done this. So hopefully, this time it's all good. So let me... Yes, we'll go, we'll go, alright. Uh, I'm gonna save super quickly. Just so that way, in case this is, like, right, we don't have to reload anything else. Come on. There we go. Nope. Did not mean to do that. Alright, so let's check it out this time. Let's hope that these are randomized. Oh, they're randomized. We got a really bad one off the gate. So we got Hippini, which, yes, that... Oh, boy. Technically, that is a three-stage evolution. We got Elekid. Ooh, that's not bad. And we got Beldum. Oh. That's so tempting. Because, like, Metagross is amazing. Metang is really cool, too. But, like, Beldum with just Takedown, though? Oh, my lord. I don't know if I could do Beldum with just Takedown. Elekid would be the safe bet. But I also don't... I don't know. I don't know if I can get Electivire in this game. And I clicked out of the window again. My bad. I guess the safe bet here would be going Elekid. So let's let's go with our buddy Elekid here. Oh, we got our first starter, guys. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. We're going to do some great things with this little dude. Uh, we got to give him a nickname because in Nuzlocke, you have to nickname everything. So I feel like we should name him... We're gonna name him Tesla. Like the coil. Why not? So here we go. Oh, Tesla's even better because it's a girl. I didn't even look at that until, like, I saw it kind of late. But, like, that's really rad. I love that. Welcome to the squad, Tesla. You can call her Tess for short. Aw, I love this. So how do you like what oh we didn't change the we didn't change the text. No, we did not. We did not change the text. But we can come over here and heal if we need it, so that's cool. So I wonder what our rival's gonna get. Is he he's gonna take either the Beldum or the Hippini. And honestly, I don't think we're gonna take some takedowns too well. If homeboy hits us with takedown too many times, we might just die. Oh, man. I, I honestly don't know if, uh... I don't know if we... Oh, my God, bro. I don't know if we get Pokeballs before the rival fight. Because if we don't get Pokeballs before that, I don't know if we'll be able to, like, actually beat him. Oh, we're going to need those potions. I can, I can already tell. Because, like, takedown's not... It's not a great move if you're using it. But, like, this early in game... It's strong. Like, it's a strong move. And Elekid is just a wee little baby lad. Baby lass. Shadow. So you picked an Elekid? That's a cute Pokemon you have. 
When you walk with it, it'll become more friendly. Good. That's actually super good. This is a friendship evolution. You should turn around and talk to it sometimes, too. Oh, that's right. Why don't you show it to your mom? See ya. Alright, yeah, no, let's, let's go do that. Oh, man, I'm actually super fucking nervous. Because, like, normally it's one thing if it's a rival battle that you're allowed to lose, like, in Pokemon Reborn. But, like, in this game, you kind of have to win. They don't let you, produ like, progress if you don't. So it's like, oh, cool. I guess I'm just going to keep dying for a while. So we got our Poke Gear. That's exciting. Does that let me do the G-Boys? The gb songs? Yes. Please don't explain it. I do remember how to do this. I never actually used the Poke Gear when I used to play. I'm just like, oh, hey. I didn't really realize that this was for, you know, going back and fighting trainers you've already fought. But at the same time, I was like, this is too much, like, there's too many steps right here. I don't feel like this. I just want to go, like, fight the people that are on their Oh, my God. Wait one second. I almost completely forgot about this. Here, I'll give you my number. Yay. I'm so happy. I'll call you if anything comes up. Alright, Elm, that's fine. That was always allowed. So we can go over here and we can see what some of the random Pokemon are. Now the sad thing... That's legendary music! Are you fucking kidding me? The very first dude is a level 2 Raikou? Bruh, what? Do you run away? Do you fight? What do you do? If I KO you, what happens? Are you gonna KO me? No, we, we're stronger. What a fucking... <laughs> as soon as I heard the music, I'm like, bro, what? Oh, are you kidding me? The thing that sucks is, uh... Uh, when I randomized this, catch em all mode was put on, so... It makes it so that way, when you encounter random Pokemon, it tries to pick from the list of things you haven't encountered every time you, like, find something in the grass, and it hopes to cycle through that list a full time before... Bruh. What? <laughs> Why are you still here? What... Did I... What did I do? What did I do here? Did I not... Did I randomize this weird? Did I randomize this weird? Because that shouldn't have happened twice. Oh. Ooh, you know what? I think what it is, is I think it makes a static encounter. We need to run. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> I want to! I really do! But I don't have Pokeballs yet. I also don't know if he'll let me. It's a big boy. It's a big scary boy. Oh my lord. I think it's just, I think it's like one to one, so it replaced whatever is usually here. I think Hoot Hoot with Raikou. <laughs> so every time a Hoot Hoot's supposed to be rolled, I think it's gonna always be Raikou. I think that's I think that's what's happening. I don't think it did the one to one. I don't think I I don't know if I did that correctly. What did I do? I thought I did random completely. Oh my lord. Let me I wanna see. I I'm I'm so shook right now, guys. I'm so shook right now. What did I do? I definitely did random completely. I don't know. This has gotta have something to do with just how Soul Silver operates on the first route. Once we get Pokeballs and, like, do things, I want to see if this is always Raikou. Like, if there's just going to be infinite Raikou here. Because this is fucking weird. Oh, my lord. Raikou, I... I can't fight you. I would love to fight you. I can't. Oh, hey, okay, here. It's something different. Oh, oh my goodness. Is this the electric route? I should have picked Beldum. I should have picked Beldum. <laughs> oh. 
you gotta love that Raikou even has like a re like a really similar color scheme to Elekid, so it's it's basically just better Elekid. It's like that meme. It's like, who are you? It's like, I'm you, but cooler. I'm you, but stronger. <laughs> oh, all right, old man. What do you want? He gives us the running shoes, doesn't he? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that you weren't wearing the running shoes. I'll try to go as slow as possible, so try keeping up. Oh, this guy. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're we're gonna we're gonna speed through this spiel. I'm I'm positive we've all we've all done this. We've all seen this. I also don't feel like being patronized by this old man. Thank you, dude. So I'm going to Toggle on auto run, because we can do that. Ooh, we gotta heal. We gotta heal our little we gotta heal our little Tesla coil. Oh, good lord. I'm legit terrified that we found a legend that fast. Like, what's gonna happen when we find a legend that's, like, actually strong? Has something other than bite? Like, oh god. Can I buy Pokeballs in here? Can I break the system? Ah, you knew what I was gonna do. They knew, guys. They knew. This is like the, like, I hate the limbo of not being able to catch things. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Ate it. I forgot about one thing. There's another token for me. Take it. So we got the map card. That is helpful. Thank you, sir. We do need the map so we can know where things are. You'll see the map of the region you're currently in. The Pokegear becomes more useful as you add cards. I wish you luck on your journey. Thanks, bro. Thanks. Oh, please, no more legends. That doesn't sound like legend, so that's good. Unless it's legend. It's a fucking legend! <laughs> What's with all these electric boys? I already have a shocky boy. What the fuck? Is this gonna be like a- is this gonna be a monotype run? Is it gonna be a- I forgot that- Ah, I forgot you could get paralyzed. When you go back this far, electric types can get paralyzed. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my lord. I'm going to be half dead before I even get to Mr. Pokemon's house. Like, good fucking lord. What's with all of these better shocky boys? I'm so fucking upset. I should have picked Beltum. Oof. I don't think we're going to win this 1v1. You got to heal. Oh. Force a habit. <laughs> Thought I could throw a ball. Oh my goodness. Oh, wrong button. Alright, let's get him, Tesla. Lit. Time to run back to the Pokemon Center, I get. Um, don't I need to? I have, I've got decent health. I mean, yeah, I'm paralyzed. What's with all these electric types? And they're all better than mine! <laughs> Oh my goodness, I'm angry. Guys, I'm heated. You've gotta be fucking kidding. Is this just- this is just a coincidence, yeah? Like... What is up with this? I don't understand. I've never had a randomizer favor a type so, like, you know... Obviously, without having, you know, set the thing to do that. Like, I- a hundred percent. Yeah, just what the hell is happening? Is this another electric type? Is this another Zapdos? It's another electric type. What the fuck? This has got to just be like area mapped, and we just got fucking electric types for these areas. Oh man, that means we're gonna have to have three electric types. 
once I get Pokeballs. Unless we get really lucky. I don't know, dude. Oh my god. I don't even know if his catch rate is normal. I might waste all five of my Pokeballs on this guy. Oh my goodness. What the fuck, dude? Alright, we just... I need to get to another area. I, I, I'm tilted. I, I just literally can't right now with these fucking encounters. Holy shit. I mean, if the legendary thing... It, if his catch rate's not abysmally low, I'm not gonna say a Zapdos wouldn't be an awesome addition to this team. Like, I'm not gonna replace Elekid, but if Elekid were to die, this would most certainly be an upgrade. This would, by all, oh my lord, can we just... Get out of the grass. Holy shit. Let me out. This is definitely area mapped. Good god. I wonder if this egg that they give us will be random. You must be Shadow. It was I who sent an email to Professor Elm earlier. Gonna walk any slower, bro? This is what I want from Professor Elm to examine. Mystery egg. Alright. You know, in theory, I could just run back and forth until this thing hatches. I'm not going to do that, but I could. A friend of mine from Ecrutake gave it to me. I bet you can't find this kind of egg in Johto. Probably not after what we fucking did to this game. I thought Professor Elm might be able to tell what this is. He's the best when it comes to research of Pokemon evolution. That's a quote from the famous Professor Oak, standing right there. Ooh, did something... Ooh. Thank you for hosting me. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Much appreciated, Star. So we're returning to Professor Realm. Here, your Pokemon should have some run. Pfft, thanks. I need it. Oh, give me Pokeballs. Oh, you're the best, Star. And with that... I'm Professor Oak, a Pokemon researcher. So you're Shadow. I was just visiting my friend, Mr. Pokemon. I heard you were running an errand for Professor Realm, so I waited here. Oh, what's this? A rare Pokemon. Yeah, he is kind of rare, huh? <laughs> I see. I must. You must be helping Professor Realm's research. I think I understand why Professor Realm gave you that Pokemon. You will treat your Pokemon with love and care, it seems. I will do my best. Yeah, this is a Nuzlocke, so I sorta of have to. You seem to be dependable. <laughs> How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. I'd like you to have it. Thank you, sir. We will fill this up to the best of our abilities, knowing full ass we can't catch everything that we want. Oh, we have to make the long trek back through, like, ten more Zapdos. We gotta hydrate. Absolutely. Water's good. I accidentally ended up playing a visual novel game last night. Even though I had meant to play a couple of other games instead. And I completely just forgot the value of having water. Especially since it was a drinking stream. Like, I got, like decimated last night it was really bad like i'm still feeling it today i was really like contemplating on if i could like stream this or not because who boy everybody came through and they were way too hype with that spin wheel but it was fun it was a good night we had a lot of people banding together to you know poison me <laughs> But it was fun. It was fun. And we even hit our cosplay goal, too, which was awesome. Alright, so we're gonna just avoid all of this fucking grass right now. Can I... Can I buy Pokeballs? Or wait, no, no. He didn't give me Pokeballs. Oh, you son of a bitch. But we are fully healed, so that's something. Alright, so let's trek back through here. I'm... Oh, our rival. I forgot about him. Mm, maybe I should have trained. 
Maybe we should maybe we should have grinded up a little bit. We got a Pokemon at the lab. What a waste. That's a Pokemon that's too good for a wimp like you. Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Yo, fuck this guy. Fuck this guy so much. Passerby boy sends out. Oh, you got the Hapini! Oof. Big oof, my dude. Oh, man. If he had picked Hapini and he picked Beldum, we would have been fucked. We would have been so fucked. Oh, my God. Tesla, Jesus. Tesla's not playing around. She saw Hapini and she's just like, it's on sight. Get him. Take him down. Double crit, Jesus! Tesla, calm down. Good lord. Thundershock, too? Let's go. That's the one thing I don't like about Gen 4. These, like, experience bars and the HP bars move so fucking slow. Like, good lord. Are you happy you won? A little bit, yeah. Do you want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. The world's clumsiest Pokemon trainer, am I right? Give it back, that's my trainer card. Oh no, you saw my name. What should we name this dude? Because I know it's a meme to name your rival something stupid. And I'm alright with doing that. But I'm not super creative. I, I think I peaked when I came up with Tesla. That was, that was the best I had. Alright. Let's tell the professor what just happened. Who are you? We're investigating the case of the missing Pokemon here. Rule number one. Whoever did it will come back to the site. Oh my. So you must be the one that did it. X Chad. <laughs> oh my god, absolutely. This dude's a Chad. He's such a fucking Chad. But not, in, you know, he's a Chad. How do you say it in a good way? There's not a good way for Chads. Chads just suck. Hold on a second. He has nothing to do with it. I saw it. There was a red-haired boy looking into the building. What? You battled a boy like that? He must be the one who did it. Did you happen to get his name? Yes, I did. I, I did get his name. His name is fucking Chad. And we're gonna fucking curb stomp him at every fucking opportunity we get on this journey. My next assignment is to search for this red-haired individual. Yeah, get out of here. You suck fucking accuse every single person you see just immediately god what a terrible detective shadow i'm glad they understand you're innocent see you later oh all right bye <laughs> that was a real quick conversation you imagine just walking up to a person being like hey how's the weather bye <laughs> like jesus shadow this is terrible oh yes what was mr pokemon's big discovery here you go it's an egg one egg in this trying time. Huh? This is an egg, isn't it? This egg may be something I've never seen. Still, it's just an egg. Mr. Pokemon is always fascinated by eggs. I mean, aren't we all? Well, since he gave it to us, we might as well find out what secret it holds. I'll keep it for a while to find out about the egg. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Shadow, is that true? That's incredible! He's superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Shadow. I knew you were a little different. Things are going to be fun. Your Pokemon seem to really like you, so why don't you take the Pokemon Gym Challenge? If you manage to defeat all the gym leaders, you'll eventually challenge the Pokemon League. Champion. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Becoming the champion is not all that easy, but you can certainly challenge Violet City's gym. Eh, it'll be fine. I've done it before. Shadow, challenging the gym scattered around will be a long journey. 
before you leave, make sure that you talk to your mom. I mean, I guess. It's the least I could do, I suppose. So you're leaving on an adventure. Okay, I'll help too. But what can I do for you? I know. Every time you receive prize money, I'll save some of it for you. How? Am I just, like, cash-apping my mom after every battle? Like, God. Do you want me to save your money for- yeah, Sure. Sure. I don't think I'm gonna spend that much, considering I don't think I'm gonna be buying a lot of revive. Well, I won't be buying revives. You, li you literally can't use them. But I don't think I'll be buying that much stuff. I'm gonna try to, like, just be a real frequent user of the Pokemon Center. Because, uh... Oh, fuck. Guys, it's time. We're gonna go catch Zapdos. Oh, uh, I wonder if her Pokemon's randomized, too. It might be static. We can we can skip through this. I think we all know how to catch Pokemon. It's been 25 years. Is it random? Is it Zapdos? Ah, oh, lame. It would have been really rad if that was a Zapdos. There we go. See, just like that. It's better to lower your target's HP more than I did, or make it sleep or something. You can try all kinds of things to see what works. I'll give you these. Good luck. Oh, we're gonna fucking need it, guys. We're gonna really fucking need it. Low-key, I kinda hope our first encounter is Shinx and not Zapdos, because I think Shinx will be a little nicer to us. Oh, come on, Shinx. Oh, boy, it's Shinx! Let's go. Awesome. Because I'm, I'm fairly certain Zapdos will be on that other route. There'll be time for Zapdos. But for now, let's let's try to start our, our playthrough with an encounter we can actually get. Oh, even better. Ooh, I love you so much, Tesla. What a good little Elekid you are. Now that looks... And you're dodging attacks. This might be the beginning of something really great, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it in my chest. Shinx is going to be a decent member to our team, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it sucks that he doesn't get an electric move for as... I want to say it's like maybe another six levels. Maybe another... Maybe even ten, honestly. He doesn't learn as fast as... Uh, oh, we got to nickname this. What, what should we name him? What do we want to name him? I'm going to name him Fang. Yep, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. <laughs> I'm never going to get start and select correct. Oh wait, Raikou was here too, wasn't it? We could have had to deal with Raikou. Zapdos is on the other route. Well, this isn't Raikou at least. Oh, hey, okay, so here we go. We're actually getting randomized stuff, finally. So, Mothum... Actually, let's, let's knock this thing out. That, that should be decent experience. Ooh, Tesla. Good. You're so strong. I'm so proud. What a good little Ella kid we've got here. Good girl. So, what's this gonna be? Shinx! Alright! <laughs> so, one of the other things, uh, now that we got a couple people in here, one of the, my favorite things that we're probably going to have to deal with for this run through, given the way that stuff is being randomized, uh, if we encounter stuff on this next route we get to that we've already caught, we can keep like encountering until we get something new, because we don't want to make a playthrough of just the same Pokemon. So I'm really hoping that... I can't remember if Shinx was on that next route over by where we were uh, delivering the message to Mr. Pokemon. But, if that is the case, we're going to keep going until we find something that is not a Shinx or an Elekid. Which honestly shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be a huge problem early on. I mean, we only have two Pokemon. Can I buy Pokeballs? Yeah. Can I buy ten? Not safely, but yeah, I can. And I should probably buy at least a little bit of potion. They gave me five? Jesus. 
I've been playing too much Pokemon Reborn. I'm so used to just, like, being thrown out into the wilderness. Like, hey, go fuck yourself. Survive. This is actual generosity, guys. So is it Zapdos? It's Luxray. Which is the same thing as Spinx, so we're not... Or, sh not Spinx. Shinx, so we're not gonna catch Luxray. We're gonna get the next encounter we find. For Route 3. Because we want some diversity here. Give me diversity. I'll take electricity. Alright, we need to fucking hope and pray that this thing is catchable. I'm hoping this doesn't do too much damage. Oh, I barely did anything. Alright. That's fine. We just need no crits here. Ooh, get paralyzed. Get paralyzed. Yeah! Love to see it. Hmm. I want to get him in the red, but I don't know how he's going to take another Thundershock or a Quick Attack. I'm going to risk it. Worst case scenario, we don't have three electric types. Alright, fine. We're good. We're good. We're all good. We're Gucci. So, moment of truth... We'll see how this guy likes or dislikes a Pokeball. Ooh. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to have it first go. Oh, you tease. Oh, my goodness. Let's try another ball. We've got a couple we can, you know, spare right now. I would like to not go through all of them. Let's go. We got Zapdos, guys. Hell yeah. Hype in the chat for Zapdos, indeed. Ooh, what should we name this dude? What should we name him? So it says, this legendary bird Pokemon is said to appear only when a thundercloud parts into two halves. That is really awesome. What shall we call you? Hmm. I'm gonna call you... I'm gonna be a weeb real fast. I'm gonna name him... I'm gonna name him the pun that I named my Zapdos in Pokemon Go. We're gonna name him after Bakugo, but Shakugo. There we go. Hey, Kit. Welcome to stream. We just caught a Zapdos. Uh, I'll show you who we got right now, actually. We have all electric types. We've got Tesla the Elekid, Fang the Shinx, and Shakugo the Zapdos. Which, honestly, I should probably run back and heal. Since everybody, most of my team is parallelized. So let's not be parallelized. Get some of that free Pokemon healthcare going. Hopefully, we can find something that's uh, a little more diverse on these later routes. Ooh. Alright, so you redeem name a character. So we gotta catch a Pokemon. What is the next Pokemon we're gonna name? Because I can't rename anything right now. But once we get to the next spot and catch the next Pokemon, what are we naming? Or do you want to wait until we uh, see who are... Oh, fuck. Hmm. Theoretically, this goes away if you go inside a building, I think. Or I break the game. <laughs> I just broke the game. Alright, we're gonna save real fast. And then we're gonna reload. <laughs> Cause good lord, I don't know. Unfortunately, when you uh when you emulate games like this, that's a thing that happens. <laughs> uh every now and then you em emulate the game, and that's like the only bug that I know of that it has. So we're gonna reload 
Desmume. So recent ROM. There we go. So it should be booting up now. Don't worry, we're all good. Look at that. We're we're back to normal. We're back in business. Hopefully that's not too frequent of a thing that happens. Let's get out of this fight. Back into another fight. Oh, see, that would have been nice. Ah, oh, that would have been a cool encounter. Slow King's a good boy. I really wish we could have gotten Slow King. So first trainer battle, let's go. Ooh, our first randomized trainer battle, actually. We won't know what this guy's throwing out. He might throw something really scary out. What do you got for me, youngster Joey? Oh no! Oh fuck that! You kill my whole team! Oh no! I hope you don't have a ground move on you. Oh, tackle. That's fine. I'll take a tackle. Oh, oh you have sand attack? Why? Why? <laughs> Youngster Joey's not playing around. Oh my god. Oh! No! You're not supposed to have that! You're not supposed to have Dragon Rage! Oh my god. Dragon Rage is an instant KO on everything. It, it literally does 40 damage every time. Oh my god. I don't know if we can get past this trainer, guys. I really don't think we can. It was not... Oh my goodness. Dragon Rage is not supposed to be available. Oh my lord. It's not supposed to be available. Fucking Christ. So that's something we have to deal with now. Oh my lord. That's something we have to deal with now. So normally... Under regular Nuzlocke circumstances, that would be a game over. But because Dragon Rage is something you just physically can't do anything about, I don't count that. I don't count that as a game over, solely because there's literally nothing you can do about that. Which is, it's unfair. It's, you, it's literally click to win. So what we need to probably do is just murder as much things in this grass as we can. To the point where Garchomp is no longer a threat. We need to be able to knock him out really fucking quick. Because, ooh boy. I don't know how we're going to get past that fight. Ooh, make me dab? Alright, let me just knock out this Luxray real quick. There we go. So I got a dab for you. Dab on this hater. Dab on Youngster Joey, the ultimate hater. We got low kick now. That's good. I think. I don't know. Let's go heal. Oh, my lord. I'm so terrified. I... Of all fucking things, the first battle had to have Garchomp with the Dragon Rage. Good fucking god. Because you'll, you'll see... Looking at my uh looking at my Pokemon, Dragon Rage always does 40 damage. I don't have a single Pokemon that even has close to over 40 da like health. I, I literally can't take I can't I can't take one Dragon Rage. So we need to Go see if we can take this Garchomp down this time. I don't know, man. This is not this is not what you want to see early Nuzlocke. It's absolutely not what you want to have to deal with. Especially considering that Garchomp appeared to be quicker than... At least Shinx. So I only get... 
probably two attacks if he doesn't go for Dragon Rage. I'll be lucky to get more than two. Oh, I'm gonna blame- I'm gonna blame it on that glitch. Actually, wait. Fuck you, Youngster Joey. We'll just sneak around. We'll sneak around and we'll deal with him later. When we have something that can actually deal with him. So, Youngster Mikey, please be nicer. Shelder, see- Shelder, I'll fight a Shelder. Because this is fucking fair. This is a fair fight. Garchomp is not a fair fight. We just gotta remember that Youngster Cho uh, Youngster Joey's just chilling over there. With a, uh... Fucking Garchomp. We gotta remember that. Because if we cycle back, we need to make sure we skip him every time. Because that boy is literally too lethal. Oh my god. Of course. Of course he copies my ability and gets the paralysis right off the bat. Youngster Mikey's troubling and annoying, but in a different way. Oh man, let's get the fuck out of this route. Let's get out of this scary, scary place. So Route 31, that's different, yeah? Yeah! Time for a new Pokemon! Hopefully. Bellsprout, alright. Not, you know, super good, but, you know, I'll take it. It's not an electric type, so that's already... That's, that's pretty good. Get paralyzed, bro. You know you want to. Get paralyzed. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Good, good Tesla. Love you so much, Tesla. Oof. That was some damage you did, Tesla. Holy shit. Ooh. That's another female for the team. Aside from our... Okay, okay. So this is kind of balanced. Zapdos has no gender. And I think Shinx was a boy. I was about to say, did we get, like... Are we only catching female Pokemon? Wild. Alright, Kit. You redeemed name a character. What are we what are we naming this Bell Sprout? What are we naming our female flower Pokemon Bell Sprout? Cause I know for a fact I don't have a good name for this thing yet. So by the glory of the gods, what name exists in your heart? What shall we name this Bell Sprout, my dear? What? Oh, you're good? Basil? Oh, hell yeah. That's a good name. I like that. Let's go. Alright, welcome to the team, Basil. I will tr- Ooh. Ooh hoo 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 Dark Cave is another location. Let's run up in Dark Cave real quick. And get ourselves. Yeah, actually, uh, we can do it. We can do it. I think we'll be okay. I I will. I would normally heal, but I think we'll be fine. I think we're okay. So who can we get in here? Something good. Come on, something good. Ho! Oh, you're a big boy. Another grass type, I see. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll we'll take you. We'll take you. You can be on the team, bro. You can be on the team. That shouldn't do a lot of damage at all, yeah? Oh, that was a crit. Wow. And we're paralyzed. There we go. I think that's about as much as I can hit this guy. And then I'm going to heal myself up. Because I don't want him to kill me while I'm trying to catch him. That would just not be a fun time at all. Ooh, Razor Leaf coming in. That'll do a little bit more damage. It can crit too. He's got the hail hitting me too. So I don't want to like... I don't want to take my chances with this boy. So let's go ahead throw a pokeball at this dude let's go 
All right, let's go. Love to see it. So I'm not creative at all. I don't have a lot of great. Eh. Mm. I have a lot of great names for this guy. So I, I think I might just name him Frosty. Because I'm not original. So there we go. Welcome to squad, Frosty. Now, let's see. We're on Route 31 still. I do want to get to a, a heal before I fight more things. Ooh, Meganium. Oh, that's, that's not bad. We're starting to see some more diversity in these random Pokemon. I'm really, I'm really here for it, guys. I'm quite here for it. Oh, Lyra's back. I knew it was you, Shadow. How'd you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Shadow. The verse recorder. Oh, that's for battles. I mean, we, we can't do that, but it's cool that we have it. I have to go now. I won't let you pass me again. Let's go, Meryl. All right. Yeah. Violet City. Home of the first gym, home of the Sprout Tower. But more importantly, there's a route like right over here we can go to and catch another Pokemon. We can go get a new friend. Hopefully one that doesn't harness the power of electricity. And hopefully not another grass type. It's kind of wild that like we went from, you know, oh hey, electrics to, oh hey, grass. But it's fine, it's fine. Whatever we get will be helpful in some capacity. But you gotta stay optimistic because the big point of randomizers too is it lets you use Pokemon you wouldn't normally use. So Route 32. Who can we get on Route 32? Come on. Big big money, no whammies. Ah. Worm it it's another grass type! Oh my god. Fuck me, right? That's fine. We're gonna stay positive. Oh wow, you took nothing from that. Uh, I can probably hit him one more. Come on, get paralyzed. You know you want to. Yeah! It's always when we need it most. It's never immediately, except for when it is, but it's usually when we need it most. Alright, so I can't imagine this thing's gonna put up too much of a fight. It's a Wormadam. Yeah, exactly. So we've got this thing now. I. I've never used one of these things. It's so weird. The Bagworm Pokemon said that a Wormadam that evolves on a cold day will have a thicker cloak. Oh, I don't know what to call you. If this fits, we'll do this. Ah, no it doesn't. You know what? You know what? We're going to we're going to name we're going to name this to go along with our bell sprout. You'll be We're going to call you Parsley. All right, uh, I think we can get something in the Sprout Tower, too, honestly. Which, oh man, that's gonna be wild. Everything in there is gonna be randomized, too. Do we- oh, that's the Pokedex. That's not the thing that lets me see my squad. Actually, let's look at some of these guys. I don't even know what they do. I mean, I don't imagine some of them do that. Ooh, Adamant. That's not bad. So, Tackle. Yeah. Peck Thundershock, yeah. Vine Whip, yeah. At least you've got a full you got a full move set on, yeah, nice. And tackle. <laughs> Beautiful. Really, really uh 
really diverse stuff you guys got going on there, friends, fam, squad. So let's heal up the boys. And then let's go into the Sprout Tower, see if we can get something. Oh, man. Guys, why is water so fucking delicious? Plus, I've got my water with a uh, hint of lemon in here, in case you guys can see that. We got some lemon in there. It's just so nice. Like, lemon water especially is just really good. Are you the Sprout Tower? Oh, you're the Pokemon School. Don't need that right now. I need the tower. I don't think there are trainers on this first floor, but we will have to fight people moving ahead. And I think... I feel like now is a good time to try to, like, train other... Ooh, let's not... Let's not do that before our first encounter, actually. If we weaken it and his hail kills the thing I'm trying to catch, I'm gonna be so pissed. Oh, all right. A Marowak. That's not bad. If you have a ground move on you, though, that might not be good. Growl. Okay. I'll allow that for now. Headbutt. All right. How much? Seven. That's, that's decent damage. You're pretty strong, actually. All right, headbutt. Hmm. Do I? Let's just let's just go for the ball. I don't want him to crit me here and kill Tesla, but I also don't know if anybody else on our team really takes this better. Oh, naturally you'd be problematic. Bone club. Oh no! All right, we're switching. We're switching into Shakugo. Ugh. I just gotta really hope that we don't kill this boy. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. He's still alive. And so are we. Let's try that Pokeball maneuver again. Come on. Be a good boy, Marowak. You know you want to. I believe in you. Join the squad. Yeah. All right. What should we what should we name this guy? Oh man, I'm so I'm so bad at naming Pokémon. I never do it. And when I do, it's always Yeah, no worries. Thanks for the lurk. Do you have any ideas what we should name for what we can name this Marowak? Because I am, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. What do I want to call you? Let's call him... What do I want to call you? You know what? I don't know why. This name's just in my head right now. We'll just we're just gonna go with this. You're gonna be Nathan. Oh, that's our first Pokemon past six. That's our first one just sent straight to the PC. Cool, cool. Alright, let's see if we can train up some of our Ugh. That was one off. Best of luck with your beach park, though. It's really exciting. I hope it goes well for you. See if we can train up our guys. Oh, we. Ah, oh, you're like the worst thing. You're like the literal worst thing to fight the thing I just sent out. Is he ground yet? Or is he just fire? Are you just fire? This thing low-key claps my whole team. <laughs> like, if this thing had, like, a full moveset, this thing would low-key clap my whole team. <laughs> so it's a good thing it's only level 3. 
or else we might be in danger. Alright, can I Thundershock you? Nope, no I can't. Well, that's irritating. Let's... Do you just have Growl? Oh, you got Tackle, too. Alright. That's fine. Ugh, that was barely any experience. We need to... We need to heal. We need to heal. There, there's an uncomfortable amount of damage on our guys. Oh, my lord. See, randomizer training is very stressful. Because you never know, like, if you're in danger or not. Because you don't know what you're, like, gonna expect on the route. Like, when I train in Pokemon Reborn, I have a good idea what's in every area. So it's like, oh, hey, these Pokemon in particular are good for these Pokemon to battle. Because they can, you know, either survive the hits or hit them super effectively and knock them out quicker. But, like, with a randomizer... <laughs> You're just kind of banking on not being murdered. And uh, that's not always... It's not always a guarantee. So we're gonna... I think right now it's a good idea to... Rock with as few Pokemon as we can. Because I don't think we need to train up everything we've got here. But I very much would like to have... Something capable of fighting that's not just Elekid. So let's come over here. See if we can get any easier fights. Yanma? Um, I'll risk it. He's super effective on me, but I'm super effective on him, too. Alright, Tackle. That's fine. Because Tackle isn't a bug move. That's not super effective. I'll take it. Please don't have speed boost. It'll make my icy win completely moot. Lit. Wait, which one of these is a stronger move, actually? Powder Snow does 40. Icy Wind does 55. Alright, so we need to keep doing Icy Wind then. There's no reason not to, I suppose. So let's... There we go. Finally faster. Oh, let's go. Leveling up. And I'm gonna... You know, let's... We can... He's a little on the weaker side. So let's switch to Shakugo for a little bit, get him some training, and we'll go back once we have to. I'm not going to run back every single time. So yeah, I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. We're at the halfway point for the weekend, so hopefully everybody's been having a good weekend. Uh, aside from my drinking stream yesterday that was fun and scary, but also nearly killed me. I'd say I'm having a good weekend. Did he eat something? Did he just eat? Did he heal? Oh, your defense on up. That's not what I wanted to see. You've got leftovers, don't you? Oh, you bastard. There we go. Roar of time? Bro, what the fuck? Yo, this is terrifying. Please just die. Please just die. <laughs> this Munchlax is too out of pocket for me. <laughs> Oh, that was, that was very stressful. Well, again, not very stressful, but more than I thought it was going to be. Oh, let's actually save our game real quick. Just in case we get that glitch again. It doesn't happen too often, but it happened once, and that's enough for me to be worried. That's actually me with, like, everything in life. It's like, hey, this isn't a common problem, 
But it happened to me once, so I'm, I'm worried it'll happen again. Regardless of if the chances of that happening are, like, less than 5%. Like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna be optimistic. I'm gonna be worry. Because I can be worry. That's what anxiety tells me, at least. Anxiety's just like, worry always. And I'm just like, I mean, I'd rather not, but alright, dude. You're my brain, I guess you know best. Alright. Let's get some. Oh, a seeking! Hello there, Mr. Seeking. Goodbye, Mr. Seeking. Hello again, Seeking. I really want to know how my randomizer chose things to go, because I feel like it didn't work the way I wanted it to. Which I'm not complaining about. It's fine. It's random. I have a Zapdos. But also, things seem kind of wacky here. Dare I even say bizarre. I'm wondering if it... It was supposed to just cycle through everything one time. But I'm wondering if it's like doing a mixture of that and then just swapping out certain Pokemon that appear on the route for... Oh, you're... You might have Rock Slide. We'll keep going until I see Rock Slide. Oh, you got Magnitude though. That's just as bad. That's very scary. Alright, let's see if we can get Frosty leveled up a little bit so he's not so lagging behind. Alright. Ugh. This thing's too- ooh, crit! I was gonna say, this thing's so bulky, I don't want to deal with this. Oh, there we go. Get out of here. I forgot that those things pack metronome on them, so, like, they could do something terrifying at any fucking moment. Oh, Frosty's being a good boy. He likes these water types. Love to see it. Ooh, a Magnemite? That would have been neat. Uh, we're gonna run from that. We don't have moves to hit him very well. So I think this is doing a mixture of mapping out Pokemon that should be on a route. Oh, alright. <laughs> it's like mapping out Pokemon that should be on a route, but it's also like, it's giving us new stuff. Like, we're, mm, not entirely new, but you know, stuff is cropping up enough. We need to get the fuck out of here. Camera up destroys Obama Snow. We don't want to get caught in that 1v1. Not even remotely. But yeah, aside from the uh, drinking stream being a little bit much for me, this weekend's been fun. It was really nice, you know, hanging out with everybody last night. Uh, it's been a while since we've streamed on a Friday, just because of all the tech issues we've had with our stuff. Uh, I guess it's actually been a while since we streamed on a Saturday, too, honestly. But it's been nice, you know. I guess it hasn't been a while since we streamed on a Friday. We streamed last Friday. But consistently. We're, we're getting back to the point where Fridays are our days now. I'm hoping, uh, based off of how the stimulus package goes with the uh, government, we can get a little extra money. Maybe get a streaming laptop so we can go back to doing our Switch games. Because I've been picking up so many fun games to play on the Switch. And it sucks, because it's like, I'd love to play these for you guys. But, like, right now, I don't have, like, a device capable of letting me stream them. Because I don't know if I... I probably haven't mentioned it on stream, so if you guys haven't heard me talk about it yet. Our uh, streaming laptop, which was a 2016, 2017 MacBook Pro, just up and just kaput on us. So we're not able to use it, at least reliably, for streaming. Because it does stuff like force restarts, it has like a graphical bug, and it's like 600 bucks to fix it, so... Aw, oh, Eevee, that would have been nice. So, we haven't been able to use that, and then, along with that going kaput on us, we actually had our uh, PS4 just stop working too. Like, it turns on, 
and it loads the screen saying that it's, you know, checking for updates, we'll restart in a minute, and then it just black screens, so. 2021 has been rough for us, streaming-wise, and, you know, just lo Oh, come on! What are you doing here, bro? Get the fuck out of my sight. Oh, do I dare fight this? Nope, nope, he put up the sun, no. We're not, we're not doing this. Goodbye, Groudon. Uh, you have a good weekend too, sir. Please don't cross my path again. Lose my number. That was horrifying. I miss the days of games having special themes for, like, their legendary Pokemon. Because, like, that was terrifying, guys. Like, knowing that, like, I was just randomized, randomized, random fight, random fight. And then all of a sudden, theme music plays. And it's like, you know that a legend is coming. You just don't know which one it is. Like, I, I recognize that specific theme. So I knew it was a Gen 3 legend. I knew it was either Kyogre or Groudon. But I was like, oh, God, it's Kyogre or Groudon. Low key, if it had been Groudon or Kyogre, that would have been pretty neat. Like, that would have been some free ass experience for Obama Snow. But no, it had to be Flamey Boy. Which, if you guys didn't know this, Groudon actually isn't a fire type. He's actually a ground type, despite the fact that he has an ability that sets up the sun, an ability that is very helpful for fire types. But the fact that we're in the sun, and he could have a fire-type move, it's like, ha, nah, nah, my ice and grass type says nope. He says nope, I say nope. I ain't fucking with you, Groudon. We don't, we don't have the luxury of being able to do that safely. However hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Who? Please just have regular ass Pokemon. Come on, Sage Nico. Bulbasaur, let's go. We can take a Bulbasaur. Ah, fuck, I forgot about this. Alright, let's try to take zero damage if possible. Let's try to take zero damage. Let's try to not have to switch into anybody else since Hale's going. I think if the levels are like this, I think we can do it. Oh, wow, that was zero experience almost. That was literally nothing. Perugly. We'll stay. We got this. I don't think we can one-shot. Uh, maybe? Oh, no. It's got fake out. All right. No flawless victory here, I guess. All right. Let's see how much damage a Razor Leaf does to Perugly. Ooh, nice. Good job, Frosty. What a good boy. And then our last opponent is going to be a... Maynectric. All right, that's fine. We can, we can take that. We can take that. Oh, wow. We really took that. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Got ourselves a paralyzed heal. That'll be helpful. Considering everything we catch gets paralyzed. So let's see. Caterpie? Oh, easy. Easy money. Snow run? Easy. Oh, we missed? Bro, what? Oh, do you have Snow Cloak? You fucking trickster. Whooper, let's keep it going. We can we can take Whoopers any day. Easy peasy. Let's keep moving up this tower. We got a gym fight coming up real soon. We just have to get to the top of the tower and deal with our rival real quick. Ooh, item. Almost didn't see that because of the little... Uh, Sprout Tower thing. A little graphic. Huntail? I'm really glad we didn't get Huntail. I really hate the way Huntail looks. 
He's so fucking weird. But, you know, it makes sense, though. Because, like, in case you guys didn't know, or in case you guys don't like to think about it, the ocean is a scary place filled with so many, like, organisms that are terrifying. And we don't even know the extent of, like, what lives as deep as we can get down there. Like, it's why Subnautica is such a cool game. Because <laughs> it's like, hey... Have you ever wanted to go into this murky, terrifying, lawless underground that is the underwater scene? No? Would you like to? It's like, no! No, I would not! There are monsters down there! You can't tell me there aren't! And it's like, yeah, there are monsters down there. Nature is scary. <laughs> yeah, the fucking, the fucking, the fucking fish thing! What is the thing called? What is what is the thing? What is the thing called? It has a. It, is it? Do they call them lantern fishes or like or lantern fish? Like, they're scary. Man, Frosty is just having a field day in this tower. He's just got everything covered for us. Anglerfish, yeah, I think they're anglerfish because they got like the thing that kind of looks like a like a. Like a fucking... Whatever you call it in fishing. Like a lure. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a marine biologist. I just know that there... I've seen horrifying things. I've seen... I've seen pictures people post and be like, Hey, this is in the ocean. What, you're do what are you doing if you see this? And I'm like, I don't know. Fucking running? Because that's fucking scary? <laughs> also known as football fish. Really? I didn't know that was also a name for it. That's interesting. Terrifying. <laughs> but interesting. So here's a question for chat. Do you guys ever get cravings for like foods or drinks even though you know that they're gonna make you sick? But they- but like not because they're bad or like prepared wrong. It's just your tummy can't handle it or like your body just doesn't process it the right way so it makes you sick. Because right now, I have Animal Crossing Geek. Oh my gosh. That was a blathers fact, huh? Love to see it. Right now, I have so many cravings for things that, like, I know my stomach probably can't eat right now. And I hate it because it's just like, oh, this ta it sounds like this would taste so good right now. Like, I would love to, uh, for anybody in the Grand Rapids area, the cereal bar, I want one of those shakes again. They're so good. I've got, like, this birthday cake strawberry shake. It's so nice. But my, my stomach just does not fucking do well with dairy at all. Which is really depressing. Because the next thing that I would really want is pizza. Pizza sounds super good right now. But I'm pretty sure it would kill me. I'm pretty sure both of those things would kill me. Oh, Thunder Wave? Damn it. I thought I clicked Thunder Shock. Sorry, guys. I'm distracted over here just thinking of all the food that will never be for me. Unless I, I don't know. I, I kind of want, I low-key want pizza. I'm so mad. Oh, I haven't had like a full-ass meal today yet. Because I, uh, I was too sick yesterday to eat. That's how bad like the drinking stream was on me. I just couldn't physically finish food. Because every bite I took made me want to vomit. So, I had my dinner for la from last night. Like, this afternoon, like, as leftovers. I had that. And then I had a bubble tea uh, lemonade peach drink. That's all I've had today. Ooh, I'm so happy we switched into Tesla. We've got a fighting move. Perfect for this kitty. Oh, uh, but you're gonna fake me out. All right. Let's try that again. Let's run it back. If you lived... Really? Weak. Hate to see it. But yeah, no. I just, I hate, I hate that my stomach just can't handle things like a regular person. Because there's so much good food out there. But my stomach's just like, eh, what if you just hated dairy? And I'm like, but I like dairy. I mean, I don't like milk, but you know, milk-based products have been really good to me. Not my stomach, but my taste buds for sure. Oh, you don't want to fight? Oh, you do want to fight. It just wasn't close enough. 
They want to come to me. That's fine, I guess. Cyndaquil. Ah, the starter I should have had. But I don't, because I randomized. Shaman? Bruh. Ah, uh, I guess I should have switched. Probably would have been a good idea to switch. We need to switch. Probably now. He's boosting his special attack, and that's... I mean, alright. I didn't think he'd die that fast. I thought he had an end game here, but I guess he just was kind of, like, mashing buttons. Which, I mean, that's fine. I do it too, but... Lord. You showed us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Hmm. <laughs> He calls himself the Elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how you should treat, how you should be nice to Pokemon, they can't defeat me. All I care about are strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Fucking Chad, man. This guy sucks. Fuck you, Chad. Oh, come on. I got right to the... Oh, hey, you're cool. Wish we could have you. Actually, no, not really. Mawao kind of sucks without a Mega Evolution. Mawao's kind of just, you know, kind of just there. It's not anything that, you know, we're missing out too much on. Escape rope. Excellent. I mean, I could just, I could just walk back. It's not that big a deal. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of trading. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. I didn't remember this as a battle. I thought he was just going to give me the TM and then I was going to leave. Oh, Staravia. Excellent. We love seeing a Pokemon we're super effective against. Let's get it. Easy. Easy peasy. Pupitar? Uh, that's a little... That's a little less easy. But I think we can do it. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Azumarill. Let's let Shaku go get some experience off this one. We won't click Thundershock like an idiot this time. Because we're only half reading the screen. Ha! Ah, excellent! Hmm, the way you battle is quite elegant. You should be able to stand up to Faulkner. And you should be able to make good use of this as well. It's a technical machine called Flash. Take it with you. Alright guys, we've got the technical machine. We've got the Elder's Blessing. We can go take on the gym. I got lost for a second. I'm like, wait, how do I climb this? Oh my god. Raikou? No, it's Entei. <laughs> Oh my lord, we've encountered everyone yet, except for Suicune. I wonder if we'll encounter Suicune before the end of the episode. Good lord. Ah, you wasted your one turn, Entei. Congratulations, fool. Alright, let's get ourselves out of this tower. I'm interested to see how Faulkner's gym pans out. Is this the... Yeah, this is the right ladder, yeah? Yeah, there we go. I'm not used to things being straightforward. I've been playing too much Pokemon Reborn. Aw, oh, man, Shuppet. That would have been neat. I like Shuppet. He's cool. Bayonet's really awesome. Mega Bayonet's really awesome, too. I actually really hope I can use one in the... Uh, Reborn playthrough we're doing now that we got our Mega Ring. I think I even have his Mega Stone. Alright, so we're gonna go over here, heal up our squad, and then we're gonna take on the gym. Actually, wait. Shard de Berry. Shard de Berry. Yeah, yeah. I trade Berry for a Shard. 
If you bring me some shards, I will give you three berries, yeah? Uh, let's never talk to him again. Because what the fuck? Alright. We're going to go ahead and heal up our boys. And we're going to head into that gym. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see what kind of damage we can wreak. Because I really want to just get to a new area. I want to catch new stuff. I'm really excited about, like, filling out a roster of boys to play this with. Alright. It's gym challenge time. And we're not gonna be we're not gonna be wimps. We're gonna we're gonna fight every single dude in here. Cause it's just free experience. There's like a little glass pattern we can use to, you know, sneak by him, but why would we do that? We can get the free experience. Oh fuck. Not that they have that many Pokemon between them. Executor, alright. I uh got a switch for you. Let's go into Shakugo. Because it'll at least resist the grass type. Well, I mean, I guess they both would have resisted the moves. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, we woke up. Let's go. Good boy, Shaku. Or, well, you're not a boy, but way to go, Shakugo. Proud of you. And then Delibird. Yeah, we can stay in for this. Bird Keeper Rod is about to... This is technically a bird, so, you know, kudos on you for actually following your... Ooh, wait, don't hit me with an ice move. Oh, that's fine. I forgot to use the super effective button. There we go. Alright. 274 experience. Way to go. Alright, guys. The lackeys have been dealt with. It's time for Faulkner. So we're going to save our game. Because we don't want to lose any saved data here. we got to be very mindful of our data. Alright, let's take them on. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Will you, though? Actually, will you, though? What are you going to have? You're going to be randomized. You might, you might throw in hollow. <laughs> what do we got? Fira. Hey, you kept a bird. Nice. Very nice, Falconer. Good for you. Oh, wow. That almost killed you. And the para. Oh, can we get the full para? Nah. Ah, it's just a growl. That's fine. This is fine. I love that it randomized him, but he still had a bird Pokemon. He might even have two, honestly. We haven't seen yet. If he got to keep all of his birds, I'm gonna I'm I'm laugh. He got to keep his flying types! That's so cute. He just got two new ones. That's really funny. I don't think I have it randomized, so that's a thing that happens. I think that's just a very weird coincidence we had. So let's take this bad boy down. Oh, wow. You you took that really Oh, well, you're two levels higher. Never mind. That makes perfect sense. Ooh, metronome. That could be bad. Thunder... Oh, that could have dealt some damage. Bro, what the fuck? There's been some hype-ass metronomes in this game so far. We had the fucking Munchlax with Roar of Time. And we got this dude just teching thunder. That could have really messed up Shakugo. Good lord. I understand. I'll bow out gracefully. For pity's sake... My dad's chair's bird Pokemon. <sighs> but a defeat is a defeat. Alright. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. We got our first badge, guys. Let's go. One down, like what? 15 more to go? 
With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. And then he gives us, what is it, Aerial Ace or Roost? By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, a TM can only be used once. Yep, we got Roost. I feel like it'd be best to give that to Zapdos. But also, it's a single use. What if I get something better? What if he dies? It'd be so sad if he died. Ugh, Professor Elm's calling us. Hello, Shadow. We've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant's at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? I mean, I don't, I clearly don't have a choice, so. Is it the Pokemon? I think it's you. Good evening, Shadow, is it? Isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, it's probably the nerd guy over here. Long time no see, Shadow. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we'd like you to take care of an egg. Yeah, sure. Why not? I hope it's a random hatch. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Shadow. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here, to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch from it only when you keep it in your party of Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Shadow. Please take care of it. Yeah, sure. I've got no reason not to. Oh my god. <laughs> Forgot about you. Me, oh my. That egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Realm, then from Professor Realm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? Sure. I'm counting on you. Alright, uh, do we need heal? Eh, not really. We're fine. So Azalea Town is our next stop. I think we gotta... No, we don't, actually. We gotta go... Wait, wait. This is another route, though, yeah? Route 36. Is there grass over here we can deal with? Fuck. There might not be grass over here. I'm gonna be real sad if there's not. Ugh, Ruins of Alpha. I don't know if we can... Oh, if we had something we could fish with. Here, I'm going to Google real quick where you get the old rod in this game. Because we might be able to actually get a few more encounters. Old rod, soul silver. Where do I get a rod and soul silver? It literally doesn't tell me how to get the most basic rod. It's like, this is how you get the good rod. This is how you get the super rod. And I'm like, I don't want those. Alright, so Soul Silver, Route 32, Fishing Guru. Have we passed by that? Map. So this is Route 35. 32. We literally did. We we actually or no, no, we didn't. Violet City. Oh no, we didn't. Alright, so we're about to is what it looks like. I just have to go the right way. So if we go back the way we came. Get down here. Route 32. There should be a fishing guy somewhere near here. Wait up, what's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of Grass-type moves. Oh, that'll be good. We'll give that to Obamas now. He could use that. Alright, let's keep it moving. Ugh. Oh, Magnemite would be a really fun member. It's just 
there's so many electric types early on in this game that we're finding. It's kind of, it's, it's really baffling me how that's like coming about. Oh my lord, let me leave. Let me move. I do want to knock this thing out. I want it that level up really bad. Magnemite. I don't think we will. Oh my goodness. The grass is just unrelenting. So there should be a fisherman somewhere around here. I think it's that dude. Ah, oh, fuck me. I tried to be not be suspicious. It didn't work. I was suspicious. They got me. So we got Sableye. We can we can take a Sableye. Easy. All right, let's circle around. Oh wait, no. How do you get over there? Ah, oh, camera up. You would be so fun to have. I love camera up. He's such a good boy. Oh my lord. Let me do things. Ooh, a great ball. That'll be helpful. Munchlax. That's a good boy, too, honestly. I'm sorry that I'm mashing the speed up button. I just really... Fuck. I just really want to get over there. I want to get that rod so we can go, like... We can get a couple more encounters if we had a fishing rod. So, Youngster Gordon sends out... Mammo swine. That's a little on the scarier side, my dude. I'm gonna have to ask you to use zero ground type moves, please. Odor Sleuth. Oh, thank God. Because yet again, this is another Pokemon that nearly wipes my team. And that is not a good feeling. That's the other reason why I'm so, like, on edge about all these electric types. Is if we just encounter the wrong fucking person, we're just gonna get bodied. Shucks, I thought I could win. I thought you might have too, honestly. As soon as I saw that mammo, I was like, bro, calm down. Alright, so you're not the one that gives me thing. Sun Flora. Let's switch. Ooh, wow. I didn't realize how far ahead of everybody Tesla was getting. We should probably use some of our other dudes for a little while. Just so we can make sure things are nice and balanced and fair. Do people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish. Well, if you'd like, in exchange for phone numbers. Yeah, alright. Yeah, here you go. Give me a rod. And I can fish. That's great. I'm happy to have met a younger friend. Can I have a fishing rod? No? Alright. I guess I'll just go die now. Thanks for nothing. Maybe one of these gentlemen will be kind enough to give me a fishing rod. Nope. He just wants to beat my ass. <laughs> Excellent. So, Fisherman Henry, what do you got? Venomoth? We can fight that. Oh, you missed. Weak. Weak. Main at trick. We need to switch. I mean, guess we didn't need to, but... Ugh, you thunder waved me, bruh. Lit. Okay, let's try this guy. Really? They don't give me fishing rods? Is there another guy that I'm missing? Uh, oh, wow, a crit. Okay. Good good job, Shakugo. I actually didn't think you could do that. Kabuto. We can stay in, I think. I know it's a rock type, but it's also a water type. Yeah, look at that. Ripe. Ooh. <laughs> Let's. Oh, God. This could be. Oh, you're level five. Thank fuck. I was going to say, if this thing's like an actual, like, high level, he could, he could wipe our party. He could absolutely wipe the party. All right. B barrel. That's fine. B barrel can't do anything bad to us. Really? None of you guys are going to give me a fishing rod. 
Is there another fisherman over here? This seemed like the place for it to happen. Because it said on... Am I on the right route? Yeah, it said Route 32. Did I get that right? Yeah, fishing guru. There's got to be... Maybe there's a house somewhere over here with a fishy boy in here? Yeah, it's probably in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. So we can go back to the ruins of Alf. And we can probably go fish something up over there. And then we can go back to Cherry Grove and fish something up over there too. So let's backtrack a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Because we want to make sure we're maximizing all of the encounters we can get. Oh, I thought I hadn't fought that kid. Where am a damn? I don't give a damn. Out of my sight. I've got a journey to continue. Oh, fuck. Right, ruins of Alf time. Because I believe there's some water we could fish in here. Oh, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. So let's go register our, our rod. That's the wrong spot for that. Let's go register the fishing rod. Oh, man. I haven't navigated this menu in ages. All right. So what button is the fishing rod? It's square. Ralph, now is not the time. What do we got? Come on, something good. Oh my goodness, magic harp. You're still here? I mean, okay, a Gyarados is actually helpful. Magic harp, not so much, but a Gyarados is helpful. <sighs> Let's just not kill it, I guess. Let's see if he'll be a good boy. Let's see if he'll be a good little carpy boy. Oof. I did a little bit more than I thought I was going to do. I was actually a little bit worried there. Oh, man. When do I get the experience here? Because I'm going to... Training this thing is going to be a fucking nightmare. <laughs> he's going to go up a whole ten levels before he's even useful. Well, we got a Magikarp, though. And I think I have a name that I, I'm, I can name him. I, I think we're alright. I'm pretty sure there's enough space for it. We're gonna name him something really stupid. Space in there. I don't think that's how you spell it. Hang on. I want to name him Carpe Diem, but I want to make sure I get this right. Wait, that's right? Oh, I got it right. All right. When you do something correct, and even you're surprised. Oh. I'd say let's look at this guy, but I know he doesn't have anything on him. He's a fucking magic carp. Alright. Wait, we can catch something in Violet City. There's water here, too. I don't know if things are randomized when you fish. It should be, but... Oh, I reeled in too quickly. I don't know if things are randomized when you fish. Wait, I really hope it is. I hope that Magikarp is just a fluke. Alright, let's go. Oh, a Del Caddy! Alright, so that was a fluke. An interesting fluke. Alright. Uh, I don't think I'd ever willingly use a Del Caddy. I don't really know what to name this thing. 
Ah, I know I want to name him. Ah, uh, just kidding. Just kidding. I just saw a cat on Facebook the other day with the cutest name, and I'm going to name this thing that because this is a cat, and I love this cat. So we gotta we gotta name it. I love this name for a cat at least. I'm not a huge fan of Del Caddy, but like Del Caddy's all right. Uh, can't attract me. I'm legendary. Good try though. All right, Del Caddy, let's wrap it up. Excellent. All right, so we're, we got ourselves a male Del Caddy. Let's add that data to the Pokedex. It dislikes dirty places. It often searches for a comfortable place in which to groom itself. That's really cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that's really cute. All right, we're gonna name you. Figaro. I love that name for a cat. It's so fucking precious. Alright, so we're going to backtrack a wee bit more. Just a wee bit more. We're going to get back to Cherry Grove. Which, if I remember correctly, shouldn't be that much of a backtrack. But what I do remember, though, is we need to avoid Youngster Joey like the fucking plague. Because that dude's packing heat. Let's get out of here. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Oh, oh, I almost walked right in fucking front of him. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't. He would have killed me. He would have murdered me dead. Alright, encounter time. I said encounter time. Let's go. Oh. What are you? It's Lugia! <laughs> Guys. It's Lugia. It's the fucking mascot of the game. Oh. We're about to just win the game. Yeah. If we catch this, do we win? Do we just instantly win? Oh. What the fuck, dude? Alright, weather ball. Is that bad for me? No, that's not bad for me at all. No! You son of a bitch! He had whirlwind on him? Are you fucking kidding me? I wanted that so bad. Lugia would have went so well with her Zapdos. I would have had a matching set. Oh, I feel so fucking cheated right now. I feel so fucking cheated right now. That was such a hype moment. Just immediately negated by a fucking stupid ass move. Please be water here. Lit. There's water here. New encounter. <sighs> I'm so angry <laughs> because I have no idea how fucking heated I am right now. That was stupid. I hate Whirlwind. Ooh, a Hitmonlee. That's an interesting find. If I pack him, will he die? Let's hit him with a Thundershock and see what happens. I don't think he should die. He's He's a decent... Yeah, he was a decent level. Oof, that hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie. Alright, let's paralyze this dude. We should heal up afterwards, because I... That was a decent hit he hit us for, and it was resisted. And Shakugo is a very valuable member to our team. The last thing I would want is to lose Shakugo. Alright. Alright. Oh, hey, would you look at that? We're over 47 health. We can take one Dragon Rage from Youngster Joey's bullshit now. Yay. Man, 
That Great Ball would have done great things for getting us that Lugia. I can already fucking feel it. I'm so mad. I'm so angry. But it's alright though. We've got Hitmonlee on our team now. Uh. The kicking Pokemon. If it starts kicking repeatedly, both legs will stretch even longer to strike a fleeing foe. That's terrifying. Uh, here we go. Here's a stupid name. His name's Kick. K-I-K, -K, Kick. Kick was sent to the PC. Oh, alright. Let's get back to this journey, I suppose. Man... We could have had a Lugia. We could have had Lugia. We could have had the mascot. We could have had the cover legendary. But he had to go and be an asshole. Stupid Lugia. I'm really surprised I skated that like edge right there. I was so positive I was just gonna fall off since I was using the speed up button. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I hope everybody in chat tonight is having a good night. I know I said that earlier, but you know, just want to say it again. A lot can happen in a couple of hours, so I hope everything's still going chill for you guys. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. Uh, it's something a little more chill than Pokemon Reborn, which we'll be playing tomorrow, because uh, Pokemon Reborn is just really difficult. Like, I rage so much playing reborn but like this is just like a nice little you know chill playthrough uh the garchomp thing was pretty unfortunate but other than that it's just a nice little chill playthrough uh it's a nice little walk down memory like lane with a little twist on it too because uh i've played soul silver probably three or four times i played it originally when it came out uh i did a randomizer on my own you know just not like on the channel just, you know, I had the action replay, so I was like, oh, I can randomize stuff. Let me just, you know, play that. Uh, I picked up the... I picked up Soul Silver and Heart Gold uh, last year during the beginning of the quarantine. Because I'm like, alright, well, I'm here now. What am I going to do now? <laughs> so I was like, I want to, you know, I want to own all the Pokemon games again. I want to, like, get them all. And I want to play through them. And it didn't really end up working out the way I hoped it would. So... Right now, I'm down to, I think, Leaf Green, Emerald, and, uh, Heart Gold still, actually. Uh, I had the 3DS games, but hit some hard times. Had to sell my 3DS, and I had to sell my games for it, too. So, don't have, uh, don't have Pokemon X, don't have Alpha Sapphire, don't have the other one, Ultra Sun. <laughs> I was like, wait, what was, what was the Alola? <laughs> I remember ah oh, fuck me all right we're gonna save we're gonna reboot or get rid of this graphical glitch I could swear they said if you go in at like a building and you go out of a building it fixes itself but I guess it we tried that last time and it didn't which was annoying but you know it's whatever it's whatever uh, I can actually load it this way file recent ROM randomize there we go let's get back into it let's assassin's creed sneak past youngster joey and his wait you know what fuck youngster joey i have an ice type let's kick his ass i'm angry I'm angry and I want revenge. You're about to get fucking destroyed, Joey. I should be faster too since I'm like eight levels higher. Did I? I clicked out of the window. Oh, I'm so stupid. You avoided the attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Frosty, no. 
This is not what we're doing today. For the love of God, Frosty, kill him. Kill him right now. You can't, you can't let him do this to you after I was talking all that smack. You're making us look bad. Goodness. Fucking grass whistle. Sure, why not? I'll get rid of Leer for now. Grass whistle's kind of shit, but Leer's a little bit more shit, so. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Oh, I'm out of Pokemon that can fight. Yeah, you fucking are. How's it feel, you jackass? Hurts, doesn't it? I know. <laughs> God. Fucking youngster Joey. Alright, let me... Switch to Shakugo, I, I guess. Since Frosty, uh... Had a near fucking death encounter. You know what, honestly, I know it's kind of risky, but it should probably be switch training match. Oh, look at him! Look at him! Look at him just flopping behind me! Oh, he's so cute. Oh, Magikarp's so stupid. He's such a silly Pokemon. I love him. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's actually a Magikarp toy they make that if you throw it on the ground, it actually starts flopping. It's a plush. With fucking Magikarp flopping action. It's the fucking cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm really happy it exists. I saw it at GameStop once. Oh. You're a problem. Not a big problem, but a problem. Let's switch into Tesla. I think Tesla can do this. Headbutt. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Sneasel. Switch. Oh. I really wish I had a, uh... I don't know. I don't... I, I feel like I probably shouldn't have fought these guys back here. Like, I should have fought them earlier. Because, like, that's just pitiful experience. Oh, coughing. That's neat. What a neat... <laughs> oh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. I'm walking way away. You're welcome. Holy shit. That was scary. Ooh, let's take this apricorn. You never know when you need an apricorn. And I guess let's risk this trainer fight. We might... Okay, a Pokeball. See, that's that's helpful. We really need that. So let's let's hope this guy's a little higher level. Jirachi. Well, you weren't, but at least you have a better Pokemon, I guess. I really don't have anything to fight Jirachi. Oh, you confused me. Oh, no. Don't. Yeah, no wishing for you, bro. None of that now. Gastrodon. I really wish I had had my... I should have healed up Frosty. Frosty's a good matchup for this Gastro. No, I'm not going to waste my one super potion. Let's... He should be fine with 28 health against a Gastrodon that's using Harden. If not, I don't know. Guess we'll just use Bellsprout. Alright, raise a leaf. Quid boy. Politoed. Oh, I meant to switch. Yes, you know, switch training with level 3 Pokemon as your opponents just isn't Latios. Bruh. A switch training with level 3 Pokemon just isn't worth doing. Like, I'm barely getting any decent experience from, like, knocking the dudes out as is. Oh, excuse me. So let's get back to the cave. Actually, wait. Let's go in here. Because I don't need to spend money to heal if I come in here. That's not how life works. You can get things for free if you try. 
So let's get back to where we were heading. Because there's a cave coming up, and that's an encounter. I haven't gotten that Pokemon yet where I'm just like, ah, yes, my favorite. Or like, ah, yes, this is what I wanted more than anything. I haven't gotten that, like, aha moment Pokemon. I'm not saying it won't happen. And I'm not saying it's not possible that it can happen, because there's a lot of Pokemon that I actually really do love. Uh, so far, I haven't been using... Let me think. Of the Pokemon that I actually do use... I mean, I guess Gyarados is probably the closest to anything I actually would use, like, normally, but, like... Actually, yeah, that's true. When I got Platinum, I was playing with my wife. Oh, there's an item up there. I was playing with my wife last year, and we were playing together, and I actually do have a Gyarados on my team, so that is something I technically would consider a Pokemon that I would pick. But, I mean, I just got them. Like, I, Obama Snow... I used them once when Diamond and Pearl came out. Because I'm like, oh, hey, a grass type. I could use that. But I didn't realize he was so fucking late game. And I also didn't realize he fucking sucked. So I was like, all right, this is fine for a playthrough once now. But, like, not again. And then the only time I ever really tried a bomb of snow again was in X and Y when he got his Mega Evolution. So I was like, oh, hey, he's got a... We gotta teach Flash. This is a cave that needs Flash. Uh, I was like, hey, he's got a really neat looking Mega Evolution. Maybe that'll make him a little bit more usable. And it really didn't, but it was cool to try. I liked his design. They really didn't give him all of the, uh... They really didn't give him all the tools he needed to be a good Pokemon. They gave him the tools he needed to be a Pokemon, but not a good Pokemon. <laughs> Because uh, Ice is just a really crippling type. Ice is weak to, like, damn near everything. And unfortunately, Grass is, like, weak to damn near everything, too. So, like, Abomasnow has, like, casually, like, almost nine fucking weaknesses. Something just fucking... We need to... We need to not have him in front. We need to have somebody we can catch Pokemon with in front. So who are we gonna get? Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get in this cave? Something good, hopefully. I mean, a mill tank's not bad. I'll take it. I'll tank it. Let's go. Uh, what? Oh, you're only level four. Jesus Christ. I almost hit you with, like, you know, moves. <laughs> Uh, can I peck you once without killing you? You're kind of bulky. You dropped my attack. Am I allowed to do this? Oh, yeah. I could even maybe do it again. But I don't feel confident in that. So we're just going to go for the ball. Come on. All right. I love it when we don't have to deal with a struggle when it comes to catching Pokemon in a Nuzlocke. Especially since my attack put it right around half. A crit kills you. A high roll kills you. That's just too much. There's too much risk for me. So I'm going to name you... Millie. I think that's a decent... Fuck. I think that's a decent name for Miltank. Alright, so let's switch Magikarp back to the front. Let's carpe some diems here. Oh! The egg! Already? Okay, so that's not randomized. We got a Togepi. That's fine. I guess we should name this. Uh, let's name you... I want to name you... Let's go... Starlight. How's that? 
because that's what I named my, oh wow, <laughs> that's what I named my Togekiss in, uh, X and Y. Named it Starlight, since it was a fairy type. I'm glad I can run away with Magikarp. That's pretty funny. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. I mean, you can be strong and still get bodied. Case in point. Charmander, who do we have for you? This Pokemon actually looks like it belongs to him, too. That's kind of... That's ironic. Glad he got a good randomize. Oh, sorry, I needed to stretch. When you sit so long in a chair, like, your bones just get all creaky. And you're like, I really need to just hit up a real good stretch right now. Especially with my for my back. Because I don't know if you guys, like, have gamer posture or know what gamer posture is like. But good lord. I'm surprised I haven't given myself scoliosis at this point. I've been hunched over this whole stream. Fucking two hours. <laughs> been hunched over. Just over here being stupid. Alright. Fire Breather Ray has been defeated. What's down here? Anything good? Ooh, a Luxio. That's cool. X Defend. That's useless. Ooh, Rock Tomb. We could use that. I don't know who could use that, but we could use that. Furret. Nah, fam. Jigglypuff. Nah, fam. I ain't about that shit. I don't think Union Cave is all that long, honestly. Shedinja? Oh, fuck you. Alright, trainer battle. Whoa, what a surprise. I didn't expect to see anyone here. I mean, yeah, it's a cave. It's kind of weird that there's so many people just chilling in a cave. Heika Daniel. With a neat arena. Okay, so this will actually give me some decent experience. Oh, pff, I'm in the wrong tab. Let's bring in Shakugo. I think Shakugo can take anything this Nidorino has. Focus energy. You're trying to crit. I don't like that. Get out of here, bro. Oh, wow. You only have one Pokemon? Whoa, I'm beaten. Big time. Yeah, I guess so. Might be uh, helpful to have more than one Pokemon. So that way when shit hits the fan, you can, you know... I don't know. Do something about it? I don't know. You're headed to Azalea, are you? Let my Pokemon see if you're good enough to battle. Oh my goodness. What's up these elite? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's, that's, that's fine. What's up with these fucking elitist cave guys? Like, Jesus. Magnitude. Excellent timing. Walk out of here. Carp's level 11. Nice. Let's switch Magikarp back in. Man. Switch training this guy. It's going to be annoying. We've only done it for one level and I'm already over it. But like Gyarados would be very helpful. I'm like real tempted to just kind Well, I mean I can't. It's Nuzlocke. <laughs> And it's randomized. I was gonna say, I'm really tempted to just hope I catch a stronger one later. I'm like, wait, no. That's literally not how this works. I never thought I'd say this, but we're actually pretty lucky to just have gotten Magikarp that way. Um, maybe not lucky, but you know. You know. He could have been a lower level, too. He could have been, like, level 4. So it's neat that he was level 10. He's, like, semi-competent. Yeah, he's, like, almost not incompetent. Let's let's do that. I don't know if that's much different than semi-competent. Rock Slide? Really? Alright, we took it. It wasn't ideal, but we took it. Oh, thank goodness. He doesn't get another one of those nature powers off 
Thank fuck. Alright. Oh ho ho. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Spinner Yak? Nah. We got a fire breather over here. Do you have a fire breathing? Oh, that's an electivire. Oh, okay. Who's who's got this? Who's who's who's? Uh, uh, I don't want to bring in Frosty. He has low kick. Fuck it, Tesla. I'm gonna low kick you because you're you're big. Yeah, fuck out of here. Fuck out of your big boy. Uh, I don't. Mm, we don't. We don't need Swift. Uh, I guess it's better than Leer in theory. It never misses, so if we get stuck against somebody we can't hit, that might actually be helpful. So let's bring back Carpe. Oh, he's almost level 12. He's actually growing alright. And then let's go into Frosty for this. Is that super effective? You dare super affect me? You punk. How dare you. Ooh, great ball. Let's go. Alright. We're nearing the end of this cave, I think. What do you got? Hoot hoot. Little hootie. Not worried about it. Yeah, look at that. We're good. Everything's Gucci. I just wish we could take more than one step without fucking running into dudes. Jesus Christ. Cranny does. Oh, you would have been nice. Your speed's not super good, but this thing's attack stats fucking monsters. I also would have been so devastated if our encounter was Shedinja. That would have been so bad. That's like a Pokemon destined to die on a Nuzlocke. Because for you guys that don't know, Shedinja only has 1 HP. But he, and he only ever will have 1 HP. But he can also only be hit by moves that are super effective. So, I mean, like, it's sort of like a catch-22 type of thing. Ah, fuck me. It's like a catch-22 thing. It's like, on the one hand, he has semi-invincibility. On the other hand, if he's hit with literally, like, one of, like, six different moves, he'll just die. So, you know. There's that. Rap? Oh, boy. Loved- Oh, That didn't do as much as I thought it might. There we go. Get out of here, bruh. Zero. I thought that was a zoom real for a second. I'm like, wait. That looks wrong. That's not the big one, is it? It's like, nah, it's the baby one. It's the baby. Look at that little child. If Magikarp had a move, it maybe could beat it. Only if he had a move, though. Tail whip. Ain't about it. Splash. Ain't about it. There we go. Hiker Anthony was taken down. Alright, we got a new route here. Oh, but he wants my number. God. Yes. Just take the number. Fuck. I'm trying to do stuff here, man. Don't you see? I have a very important Nuzlocke to get back to. A very important Nuzlocke. A very important trainer. I don't have time for your nonsense. Alright. What can we find in this here grass? Hopefully something nice. Another delicate. Wait. We might... This might not be a new route. Let me investigate. Either way, that's Species Claw, so we're not going to catch that. But well, we caught you from fishing, I'm pretty sure. Uh, the map is what'll tell me. So we're on... Route 33. 
I don't think there's been any 33 that we could reach. So yeah, this is new. This is new. We just had an unfortunate duplicate encounter. Speaking of <laughs> unfortunate duplicate encounters. Oh, fuck. Can I still run from you? Actually, yeah, let's switch to somebody who can actually help us catch Pokemon. Actually, before we deal with this, let's go heal. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago. Give me a break. We have, we have not broken up. Actually, we did once. But we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. What a dick. What an absolute dick. So let's go heal. And then we're going to go back out there. We're going to go get ourselves our encounter that we are rightfully owed. And we're going to make sure that we... uh. Save our data. Because we don't want to lose anything. I mean, I guess we saved a little while ago. We don't really need to save right now. But I do like to say it so I don't forget that that's something I wish to do at some point soon. You can get another encounter in that well, too, actually. And in the city if there's water. So we can get a lot of friends here. So Meganium, that's new. That's new and exciting. Well, I mean, it's new. It's still a Meganium. <laughs> Meganium's not the, uh... And it's another grass type. Fuck me. It's not... It's not worse than a bomb of snow. But it's certainly not much better if it is better at all. I'm on the fence. But you know what? It's fine. This is a guy, and it'll be here in case we need it. We're not... This is another one of those backup types of situations where we're not gonna, like, heavily re rely on this thing all right we can we can hit it with a f mm, probably not another one of those as much as i would love to get it into the red i don't think it can take another thunder shock at least not safely <sighs> all right meganium I mean, I guess we could try the Great Ball. We got two of them. Alright, lit. Get another fucking Grass type. And you know what? I'm just gonna name him another... We're just gonna keep naming... After Spices. Until I can't think of another spice. So we got oregano now. Professor Elm, what do you want? Hey Shadow, this is great news. A Pokemon hatched from that egg. I knew that giving that egg to you, Shadow, was the right thing to do. I just knew it. You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon it is. And we'll never see him again. Dead ass, I am not going back. Alright. Is there water in your little sleepy town here, guys? I wish to fish. No, doesn't look like it. Well, bummer. Hmm, who are you? Shadow, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, don't worry. I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm gonna go give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke. Old Kurt is on his way. Gotta admire. We love, we love standing up for Pokemon rights. Pokemon deserve rights, guys. Uh, let's run up in here real fast and buy some stuff, just in case. Alright. Um, let's buy... 
I wanted two. I want two of these. Thank you. And then how are we doing on Pokeballs? Oh, we need more. There we go. Well, let's, I think we're good on stuff for now. Let's not blow all of our money. Alright. So Slowpoke Well. Slowpoke Well is an encounter as well. As well. So let's see if there's something fun in here we can get. Let's see if we can get our hands on something nice. Hey there, Shadow. The guard up top took off and I shouted at him. But then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats. If I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished them. Ah, can't be helped. Shadow, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Yeah, let's go fuck them up. Alright, what do we got? Huh. Zatu's not bad. I'll take a Zatu. I really do hope that before the end of this playthrough, we absolutely, like, we actually come out with a fire type. Because, like, they're difficult to come by under normal circumstances. But, like, with randomizers, they could just full ass just be gone. In theory, I should be able to peck this guy one time. You should be able to take one peck at least. Alright, cool. We're fine. We're fine. Nightshade. Oh, pfft. I was about to say, he's going to hit me for his level. It's going to be bad. Then I remember he's like level 6. That would have been bad under other circumstances, but not this one. Alright. I think I have a name for this. We're going to go with another anime name for this one. Because uh, I am a giant weeb. In case you guys didn't know. If you couldn't tell by my JoJo's art style... OC that I have over there, or, you know, the fact that I'm playing Pokemon in general. Uh, so, here we go. We got Psyche. In case you guys know about the disastrous life of Psyche K. One of my favorite fictional psychics. I was standing guard up top and some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. How about I vent my anger and take it out on you? Oh, wow. Child much? Just for that, I'm gonna destroy... Oh, I'm paralyzed. Just for that, I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, you're color changing. I forgot about color change. Medicham. This would be a great time to stay in, but I don't think I can. I forgot how much of a bop this fucking Team Rocket theme was. It's really good. We're gonna go into Elekid, I think. You could say what you want about any generation of Pokemon, but the music has never been bad. I can't think of a single Pokemon game where I'm like, you know what, the soundtrack is booty. Nah, man. Pokemon's theme songs and soundtracks are just always fire. Okay, not theme songs. Some of the anime stuff is kind of bad sometimes. But, like, in the games, at least, it's always just straight fire. Oh, this would be bad if you weren't going to die. This could have been potentially bad. Well, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Ah, this is just not my day. Yeah, sucks to suck, I guess. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Super potion. Hell yeah. Uh, let's put Magikarp back in front. Stop taking Slowpoke Tails. What? You want us to disobey a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. I mean, 
Yeah. That's the goal. Because I'm a real trainer. I'm not a fake trainer like these guys. Uh... Yeah, Pseudo Wudo is low key dangerous to my entire team. Licky Licky. Not low key dangerous to my entire team, but that is a thick boy. Oh, supersonic. Oh, good boy. Te er, good, good, good girl, Tesla. Good girl. Snapping out of that confusion instantly and, like, clutching that paralysis. Like, let's fucking go. You rotten brat. And it takes one to know one, I guess. We're almost there, guys. One more grunt, and then we got the executive man. Quit taking slowpoke tails. If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rope would be ruined. I mean, you can be made to listen. Pillows. Oh, you're scary. <laughs> you're actually a little on the scarier side. Mm, yeah, I guess Tesla is my best bet right here. Got to go for that low sweep. Mu oh. I thought it was gonna be mud shot. I had a slight heart attack. I was like, no, please, not like this. Sweep the leg, Tesla. Yeah, was that a crit too? Good lord. Tesla coming through. I wonder when Tesla will evolve Fortress. Ooh, we really... We don't have a lot for a Fortress. That's a unique typing that we do not hit very well. But you know what? I think... I think Low Sweep should be fine. That's a heavy Pokemon, yeah? He's, he's Bug Steel. He's just a big-ass fucking rock. Ooh, that did damage. I think I can take one more. If I have to. I hope this just kills him. Oh, close. Oh, crit. And we didn't. Oh, let's go. It was a risky move being like, I think I can take one more. Because that actually did solid damage. Oh, you still. Oh, you still have Pokemon. My god. I'm getting low. I don't know, man. I don't know who I can send in. In theory, Zapdos re resists both of its moves, so even though it's paralyzed and low health, I think I'll be okay. I fucking hope. What are you going for? Poison Sting? That's fine. Just don't poison me. Gust? That's fine. Yeah, only two. We're doing fine. And we didn't get fully paired. That's good. Way to go, Shakugo. Love to see it. Alright, we're gonna have to do a little self-healing real quick. Because my word. We are not in the greatest of places here. So let's... Boost up Tesla. We'll boost up Shakugo. And then let's use a para heal real fast so he's not paralyzed. There's magic herb in front. Lit. Let's do it. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. I will literally destroy you and your stupid hair. What even is your hair doing? Fucking bootleg ass anime looking motherfucker. I will fucking end your life. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Ah, uh, ingrain really? More like ingrate. Let's get him. Let's get him with this low kick. Let's go, Tesla. Yeah, let's go, Tesla. Hell yeah. I wonder if Magikarp's gonna level up soon. Raichu? 
That's fine. We'll go into carp and then we'll switch into a bomb. We haven't used a bomb in a while, actually. Ooh, Ammer about to level up. Let's go. This switch training is working pretty well, honestly. Doesn't matter where we go, there's always someone who doesn't agree with us. Yeah, you're the bad guys. You're the literal villains. You're an evil team. That's for profit, of all things. Of course we don't agree with you. You're like the Senate, but you do more things. You're more active. Alright, I think I'm gonna hit you with a razor leaf. You've got Thunderbolt already? Bro, calm the fuck down. I'm glad we got a grass type to resist that, because, like, good lord. That's excessive as fuck. Are you serious? Did you come here thinking you can mess with our plans? Yeah, absolutely. These Thunderbolts aren't nothing to a bomb of snow. Frosty's tanking this. I could take six more if I needed to. Not that I think I will. Oh, because we got the crit. Let's go. Good boy, Frosty. Good fucking lad. Uh, for a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. Yeah, bet you didn't. Hmm. Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Yo, I don't care what you're doing, man. Yo, Kurt's back. Way to go, Shadow. Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better, too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Hi, Shadow. You handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they've come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Shadow. This is all I have now, but take it. A fastball? Let's go. I'll, I'll take any ball you got right now, because, like, we need to be stocked up for this Nuzlocke. You have Apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Yeah, uh, I don't know what a green one does, but you can add this green apricorn. It'll take a day to make you a Pokeball. Come back for it later. That's right, I'll give you my grandpa's number. Sure, why not? It, it's weird that it takes a whole day for that. It seems, uh, I don't know, like a not super great use of time. Takes you a whole ass day to make one fucking ball. I mean, I know he'll make more if you give him the same color apricorns. He can't, like, do multiple ones of different colors all at once, but, like, still. Good lord. Well, alright, guys. It's about... We're, we're close to the three-hour mark. We've gotten our first badge. We've done, you know, a decent amount of stuff tonight. And I'm pretty sure I need to train up a little bit before I fight this gym. So what I'm going to do is we're going to save. I think we're going to call it an episode tonight. Uh, but thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out tonight. Thanks for the hype. Thanks for, you know, the point redemptions. Thanks for, you know, the nickname suggestions and the rival name suggestion. It was super helpful. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when this series is going to be on my channel. I don't know if this is, you know, something I'm going to keep doing you know weekly i don't know if i'm gonna move this to youtube i still gotta you know feel out what's working and what's not working for me so uh this will be back in some capacity i swear we're gonna finish this run together even though this was you know a spontaneous thing to celebrate pokemon day i do want to beat this run because it's been a while since i beat a nuzlocke uh that being said we'll be back again tomorrow at eight or seven i think seven We'll be back around 7 or 8. We'll be playing Pokemon Reborn. Uh, we've got another gym fight coming up against Amaria, so hopefully we'll be able to get ready for that in time. And then on Monday, me and my friends will be returning to play either The Forest or Phasmophobia. One of the two. So you'll get a spooky game on Monday. You'll get Reborn on Sunday like you're used to. 
and yeah i'll have a new schedule posted too hopefully on monday or maybe tomorrow so you guys will know what else is coming up so that being said thank you guys so much for watching stay safe out there and have a good rest of your night peace Thank you.